You're going back to the question of reclamation um, at the public policy level, I think we have to recognize this is a complete boom and bust industry. Uh, this month on peakoilbarrel.org or .com, he's tracking the, the peaking out of uh, North Dakota back in production because the old legacy wells that have already been drilled and fracked already, from day one, they're, they're in a decline uh, curve. And what you're going to have happen is, uh, it's already happening in some towns in North Dakota, that the bust comes much quicker than the boom. And then you're going to have these frac sand mines impacted down the line in the, in the supply chain. And they're going to say, oh, guess what? We're bankrupt. We can't do any reclamation. We don't have the money. And so right now is the time to get public policy uh, inst instituted to the the, sh the shutdown phase shutdown of these mines should actually be beginning now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you want to comment on that. Just briefly, I think you make a good point. The gentleman talks about the boom bust cycle of mining, which we've seen with mountaintop removal, with, with uh, gold mining, with iron mining, and we know that in Wisconsin pretty well, and it truly is. The best economic impact I've seen is suggest that uh, communities that are used to mining have an industrial orientation. It can bring jobs. It can increase the mean wage. Communities that are used to having tourism or aesthetic uh, values, fishing, hunting, can really suffer when these things take place because there is a, quite a big shift in the landscape and the kinds of availability of jobs. Mm -hmm.